So in the last section, we have registered the Wildfly instance, which is a vanilla application which has been provided by the Wildfly. And now in that section, we have seen that we have saved the two files. One is the key lock JSON file and the other one is XML document. Now in this section, what we will quickly do is we will modify the Wildfly instance uh, that uh, has been provided with us. Okay, so the instance is basically a servlet application that requires some additional configuration. So whenever you get an application, say we have an Wildfly application, which we will be modifying now, right? So this is the example app. So like this, you will be having an application with you. Now in that application, you will need to do some modification in the configuration stuffs. So that is what we will be doing in this particular section quickly. Okay. So you go to the key clock and as a prerequisites, you need to remember that you have created the client named as vanilla in the demo realm, what we have seen, right? So this is the, this is the demo realm inside the demo realm. We have created a client and the client name is vanilla, right? Okay, let me again log into the system quickly and just quickly confirm you that what we have created. So this is the demo realm and in the demo realm, we have a client, we have created this vanilla. Okay, so that is what we have done. Now what we will do is we will go to the next step. What you need to do is you have to go to the wildfly because we are putting some additional configuration in the configuration section. So you go to this wildfly directory and inside that you need to find out the configuration part of it. Okay. So there is a standalone and there is configuration. Inside this, you will find out this dandelion. What you do is, I have just kept in notepad, so I will just show you in the notepad. Okay. The other way of uh, opening is, you can use your, if you have any text editor, open it through that. Okay. For now, I will open it in the notepad. Okay. So, here, we have to find out a particular uh, key clock entry. So what I will do is I will write key clock. So if you start finding it from the top, there it is. So here, let me tell you what you will get. So you will get an entry of this. You have to go and find out this entry. Okay. So key clock, it may be depending upon which version you are downloading you will get key clock 1.1 or 1.2 whatever it is so here my section is telling that it is key clock 1.2 now when you will be doing this for the first time this i have done let me cut this out and show you what it's you may not get this at all in place okay so you may just get one entry like this and you will be having something like this. What you need to do is you need to take this out in the first place and then you need to put an entry of subsystem. What you are doing, you are just making it separate so that you can put something inside this. Okay. Now in the step earlier, we have taken an XML template, if you remember, so that you have to paste it here. So I have already copied that. So I will just paste that same thing. When you will be pasting this, if there is a, you may see that in the name section, it will be having a template like war module uh, and then vanilla.war you just need to take out those war module and all those things no text is required just put your war name okay that is good enough and the rest of the thing is as follows 
where it is talking about what realm you are dealing with so it is telling okay there is a demo realm inside the demo realm there is a vanilla and inside the vanilla uh, I mean as a resource it is vanilla then the public client is true what is your authentication server URL it is 8180 auth so basically what I am saying to the application is every time you are coming to this subsystem and there is an authorized uh, authentication happening from here please refer to this URL the SSL required is external at the moment so this is the subsystem what it has defined from here to here so this is the key thing which you need to remember okay so after this what you will do you will save this and you will restart your application server right for me it's not required because I had the entry in the first place so I've just closed it so you save it and come out and then what you need to do is you need to restart your application server so your application server this is your application server you just uh, exit from here and just restart it again so that it takes the uh, configuration in the standalone and able to uh, pick up the configuration changes so once that is done and once you have rebooted your application server we will go to the next step and the next step is about installing the sample code to secure the application okay 